Aquarius, it is the Sun Sage back to do your July 2021 reading. This will be for those of you who are Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. And for those of you connecting to Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. So first, I want to thank you guys so much for liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, also, I am now booking personal readings. So if you are interested in a personal reading, make sure you check out the details in the description box. Okay. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. All right. What's going on for Aquarius? The month of July. What's going on for Aquarius? What's going on for Aquarius? Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Growing. Learning lessons. Uh, nine of Cups. Those lessons paying off. Five of Pentacles. Still feeling like something is missing. Um, sorry. Page of Swords. Okay. And what else do we have for Aquarius? Month of July. King of Swords. Your energy. So this is a journey to yourself. Just as I say journey, look who's at the bottom of the deck. This Knight of Pentacles here who is on a journey. A very slow sort of journey where you have to be patient and have to be strategic, but you get to your destination all the same. So I feel like you're on a path, right? Trying to re refine yourself what's what's the you're you're looking like you're reconnecting to your true self right i feel like that's what this is representing in the month of july a lot of you have been struggling okay you've been struggling there's been some frustration right there may have been some setbacks in your progress but i do feel like you guys are headed in the right direction because right after that seven of pentacles we have the nine of cups which is you getting what your intention whatever your intention was you get that you get what you wanted what you feel like you've worked for and what you deserve what's the seven of pentacles yeah seven uh i'm sorry five of pentacles which we have so this confirms that lack mentality the fact that you feel like something is still missing you're frustrated you're struggling you don't want to do that anymore this could be about your love life okay a king of cups at the bottom of the deck um, a Scorpio energy, also just a really sensitive person, a really sensitive, possible masculine person. So I feel like you guys um, may have had some struggles in your connection, some struggles with finance, finances. Okay. Um, what's this five of pentacles with this seven of pentacles? The sun. So this is a happy outcome, right? If you're struggling right now, if you feel like things aren't working out in your favor right now, it's like, hold on, Aquarius, the good stuff is coming, right? With the sun, especially July Leo season, because the sun is representing Leo. It could sh definitely show up more in late July, August. Empress at the bottom of the deck. There is abundance and growth here. You're, you're, Whatever seeds you've planted will bear fruit and it will bear the fruit that you've been wanting it to bear. If you started a business and you had some setbacks, some financial stuff going on, um, you are going to start to see it flourish. If you had a relationship breakup or if you were feeling like you were in this alone and your partner has not been very helpful for you, I feel like there's going to be good news, some sort of refreshing news that's going to take a load off your shoulders in whatever your situation is. In the month of July, yes, justice, right? So you feel like you're not getting a fair shake right now. Whatever is happening, you could feel like it's unfair, but it is leading, you're on your journey. It's leading you to complete fulfillment and happiness, even if it doesn't feel that right way right now, right? I feel like you're very frustrated, very sad, but I feel like the sun and justice is telling me that you are going to get your way. Things are going to work out in your favor here. Um, a legal decision could even go in your favor, right? Something that has been taking a long time, Aquarius, could finally have a result or a resolution. So there's peace and a breath of fresh air in the Ten of Cups and what you're ultimately headed to. Nine of Cups, like I said, you're getting what you want, 
right? Whatever you've been manifesting and putting out there is what you're going to get in return. And for a lot of you, this could be material goods. This could be spiritual knowledge, but it's something that you've been wanting, right? Wisdom, spiritual knowledge being confirmed right there. You guys have been on a self-exploration journey, learning more, getting better, growing. And this process has had its, uh, its ups and downs. It's had its good and its bad but you're making it through. This is the hermit, Virgo energy. Um, you have a wealth of knowledge right now. And even this page of swords who learns more and is very curious. I feel like you have a better understanding of life, Empress, a better understanding of life, a better understanding of how to manifest and making your dreams come true as the, as the Empress, manifesting to make things come to you. Don't work harder, work smarter, right? So in the month of July, you guys are having things come your way effortlessly. Opportunities, love, um, just all sorts of opportunities that are going to bring you happiness. With that Ten of Cups, there's good news coming in. I can see that there's good news coming in. Somebody may get the news that um, after trying, they are now pregnant or they will be expecting. So there's good news um, coming in on that front. Let's see what else. The moon. Yeah, something. You're not seeing the good stuff, but it's coming, right? Death at the bottom of the, de of the deck. There's a, a cycle or a, a phase of your life that's over and you're adjusting to the newness of how fresh and, and new things feel for you right now but there is an ending here that still leaves you somewhat confused but it's leading you to your ultimate purpose and your ultimate goal in this life what is this moon with this empress definitely heavy on the pregnancy intuition somebody feels like they are going to conceive soon um somebody's having dreams about having children um, what's this moon cancer? I mean, yeah, cancer, Pisces energy, king of pentacles. All right. So some of you are um, having dreams about a family. Your dreams are speaking to you right now. Also speaking to you, telling you, you are going to get what you want. King of pentacles. You're going to find success and have happiness. You are going to, um, you are going to live out your biggest and wildest dreams. Your dreams are coming true. Your purpose is before you. Okay, Aquarius, there's a lot of uh, good news coming in. Five of Pentacles. All right, you guys have your days in July where you're going to feel sad and going to feel like you're not enough and not doing enough. Two of Swords, feeling like you're at a crossroads, like you're stuck, right? Because sometimes, you know, when people say they're afraid of success or afraid of succeeding, the reason why that is, is because sometimes when you start getting the things that you want, it's like, wait a minute, is this real? Can I trust it? Is it going to last? You know, so we start getting in these situations where, yeah, we do fear success because um, it can be taken away, right? Or something bad could happen. So I feel like that's a, like a mindset that you guys will have to, to deal with in the month of July, um, putting you at odds with what you want and, and challenging you to overcome. Ten of Wands, stress. Okay, this is mental stress. All right. Now, because that five of pentacles is there, some of you could have to make a really heavy financial uh, decision in the month of July. I'm feeling like a lot of you are carrying a financial burden that on one hand will bring you a lot of peace and a lot of a lot more abundance. But on the other hand, you feel like it could create more problems and more stress for you. So you're weighing the pros and cons of a financial situation. The emperor, you're taking control of something, right? In a state or finances. And it's a lot of responsibility, okay? With this emperor energy, it's a lot of responsibility and it's a lot of stress. And you wish you didn't have this responsibility. I feel like a lot of you guys just want to you know, focus on your business or focus on, you know, there's something here that has entered your life that you would rather not deal with, but you're dealing with it. Knight of Pentacles, you're taking your time. You're dealing with it. You have a lot on your plate right now, Aquarius. I feel that. So any good things that are happening for you, any good news you're receiving right now, it's like you're taking it with a grain of salt. 
right? In the month of July, you're going to be very sort of, yeah, I know I just opened my own store or I just, you know, hired new, uh, new employees and things are going great, but I still got this to worry about and I still got this. So it's kind of like, don't allow yourself to be weighted down, you know, take your time with yourself. Knight of Pentacles also, um, there could be a Knight of Pentacles wanting to come in to help you. All right, a Knight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, uh, Virgo energy. Take some of the, the, the load off here. What's this page of swords for Aquarius? Information, all right? You're receiving information or news, will of fortune. See, you're getting a fortune. There's something you're receiving in the month of July that is going to expand your pockets and your life, right? Right now, it feels like you're struggling, but there is something coming in that's gonna increase your wealth, Ace of Wands, some idea you had that's finally going to start to pay off. You are the boss. Whatever you do, Aquarius, I feel like you're the boss of your own business. You're an entrepreneur. Okay, so you got family stuff. You have work stuff. You have finances going on. And I feel like the Wheel of Fortune with the Ace of Wands is letting us know that that big idea, that creative idea that you had maybe months ago or years ago that you started putting, planting the seeds for is going to grow and build and increase in the month of July. All right. So that's going to be a lot of good news. That's going to be good news for a lot of you. What's this case of wands? Yep. Three, something to celebrate. Three of cups. I just shuffled and the emperor is still at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. I get it. You guys are bosses. Okay. You got your own business. I get it. So you guys are wanting that message to come through loud and clear. You're focused, you're determined, you're driven, and it's time to celebrate your successes in the month of July. If you don't celebrate your successes, somebody is going to be celebrating you. I don't even, I don't even feel like this is like a romance reading. I feel like this is a reading letting you know that, yes, romance could be on the menu for you in July, but there's a lot of abundance here, a lot of financial stability, nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, a lot of not having to worry about finances even if you are doing that right now, right? You you will feel some sense of relief, all right? What's this three of cups for Aquarius? Oh, nine of swords. I felt it before it even came out, like that heaviness, a heavy sigh that, that, that you guys are still worrying, right? It's like it's hard for you to have a good time in July um, because you have these worries and all of these things on your plate. Okay, so this is about sorting through whatever is ailing you, whatever is bringing you discomfort, whatever is bringing you confusion and lack of clarity. This is about sorting through that in the month of July so you don't carry that with you as you're succeeding and prospering, right? You want to be able to enjoy your success. You don't want to have something amazing happen and you can't enjoy it because you're, you're stressed out and worried. All right, so this King of Swords, let's see what this energy is because I feel like that's you. Uh, the nine of cups getting what you want. I mean, it's how can it be more clear? This is the second nine of cups here. So yeah, you guys have wish fulfillment being confirmed. Your love life, this king of cups. All right. Did this, this king of cups may have showed up in you guys. I know it was in Libra's reading, but it may have shown up in your reading earlier, but voila, right? A romance, right? Something that you've been wanting, nine of cups. You are getting your wishes fulfilled in the month of July. It's just how will you handle it, right? Because the hangman is telling me that you guys still have, it, you still have some things that like you feel like you're sacrificing things. And that could be it. The heaviness of your success right now could feel like it came with a heavy price. All right, getting what you want came with a heavy sacrifice, a heavy price. And that's what's bothering you. And it could be eating you up. What's this will? I mean, I'm sorry, what's this hangman? It, yeah, a heavy price. Ace of Pentacles. You are getting what you wanted. Financial freedom, financial stability. Your ideas are being respected and people are checking for you for inspiration and for uh, create to create your creative opinion on things, right? But this is all bringing you that abundance and stability that you have been planting the seeds for. Your life blossoms, right? In many areas, 
three of pentacles, two of pentacles. And the reason why I'm laughing, because that gives us a five of pentacles again. You have all these pentacles here and you still feel like there's something that's bothering you. So it's very clear that there is something that's weighing heavily on you. In the month of July, Aquarius, even though you have like these amazing energies coming in and wish fulfillment and manifesting what you want and getting what you want, it still feels like, you know, everything, you know, you're getting help from people. There are people who are supporting you, but it still feels heaviest on you. Like you're the one having to balance and manage everything in your life. And there's really no one who can help you do that but you, right? This is also an energy of sort of, if you want something done, do it alone. Even though you have people reaching out to you, wanting to help you out, it's kind of like almost a stress reliever for you to do it on your own and figure things out on your own, right? Even though you don't have to, Aquarius, okay? Um, you guys could be connecting to another Aquarius too, who's trying to help. I also get a Virgo in your life trying to help possibly, all right? So let's get some uh, additional messages for Aquarius, all right? Say something. All right. So I feel like in the midst of all of this, because we don't have a lot of romance here, your love life could be suffering. OK, so um, you've got a lot on your plate. You've got a lot you're going through right now, but there is someone who wants to hear from you. Um, I respect you so much. You are well respected. Like I said, people are going to be wanting your opinion on things. The King of Swords is respected. Very clear and thorough sort of personality that gets things done and detaches from emotional things to better get things done, right? So yeah, you're in your King of Swords energy right now, solely focused on um, things. Look, I feel safe in love with you. So solely focused on things that are about stability and abundance and security, but there is someone here who feels safe and loved and who wants this connection to sort of come back together. This three of cups that you had could be a reunion, but I feel like you guys, your mind is elsewhere. It's not really on romance or fun. I feel like you're going to have your fill of that, your taste for that in July, but you're more, you're more focused on financial things right now. You're more focused on business things right now. All right, Aquarius, so that is the energy that I have for you for the month of July. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you need a personal reading, check out the details in the description box.